Hi, I'm Dr. Rajdeep Patel. I'm a spine and sports physiotherapist with about 23 years of experience and my clinic is located in Shivaji Park, Mumbai. Recovering after a long run is absolutely critical because if you don't recover well from this run, then your next few runs can go for a toss and you can pick up an injury as well. So let's look at how you can recover from a long run. There are five specific ways that you can do this. Before we get into the specific techniques to recover, I have a runner's guide for you. Uh, it's absolutely free. You can pick up uh, from the description below. Just click on the link and I'll send it to you. So the first way to recover really well from a long run is to make sure that you're doing a proper cool down. Now, if you're doing like a five minute cool down with just some basic stretches and not holding for 30 seconds or more, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Research shows us that unless you hold a static stretch for more than 20 to 30 seconds, the muscle is not going to lengthen, it's not going to come back to its normal size, and hence it's going to remain contracted and it can pick up an injury, it can cause the joint above and below to start working. So make sure you're cooling down properly. How can you do that? In addition to your cool down stretches, you will also do foam rolling. I advise that you do foam rolling first and then you do uh, static stretches. This makes sure that your recovery happens really well and it stays for a longer period of time. When to do this, you should do it within the first hour of your long run. As soon as you come back home, spend about 30-40 minutes and do more foam rolling and stretching and then you're good. Point number two to make sure that you're recovering after your long run is cold application. Please do not put any hot application, hot packs, anything dipping in hot water, hot tub, nothing. You want to make sure that the inflammation that has been created in your joints and muscles, that you are curbing that inflammation. The best way to do that is you do cold water application. How do you do this? You can either dip your feet in cold water. Uh, if a joint has been bothering you, then make sure you are doing ice packs around that joint. Remember to do some amount of compression and elevation as well afterwards. This will make sure that if you have pulled a muscle, if the joint has been a little bit more impact, it will control that and not allow it to become an injury. All the muscles and joints will recover really nicely with cold back. Point number three, recover from a long run. Make sure that you are doing massages from time to time. Now, if you have run a half marathon, um, then it's okay to go in for a deep tissue massage but if you have run anything more than a 25 if you are into the full marathons then you don't want to do the uh, sports massage right after you want to wait a good 24 hours before you even do foam rolling but deep tissue massage is something that every runner should invest in I would say on a weekly or a monthly basis so that your recovery process is smooth uh, remember when the muscles don't recover, when the knots keep building up over time because running is such a repetitive sport, this is what's going to cause an injury because the recovery did not happen well. So do periodic massages but after a long run, you definitely need to get those uh, the circulation going and all that with this. Point number four, very critical to recover properly from a run, nutrition, hydration. These two form the basis of your run, how you feel while you run, how you recover after your run, how your next run is going to do, how much protein you are having in your diet, how much carb loading you did before. So make sure you speak to a nutritionist because every runner's needs are very different. Same way for hydration, you want to figure out the correct hydration for you, either speaking to an expert or figuring out what's correct for you. Uh, hydration and nutrition, if these two you worked out well, make sure that you are using these uh, these same strategies throughout all your runs and not try anything new during your marathon. So go ahead and do your nutrition and hydration well and you will recover well. The last point, the fifth point to recover well is to make sure you include one recovery day. A recovery run is great, you should be doing that as a part of your routine but you also want to do something other than that. Active recovery means that you not just do sleep but you also make sure that you are doing something active in order to recover well. In addition to your recovery run, on your recovery day, you should be doing mobility drills, you should be doing uh, foam rolling and stretching or do yoga, do some breathing, do meditation. Something that recovers your whole system and not just your muscular system. So you've seen how easy it is to recover well. 
put it in your routine, make sure you're doing it consistently and injuries will never come your way and you will feel great running. This was actually video number 2 in the 4th uh, series, Marathon Tips and Tricks. Make sure that you are um, tuned in because a lot of more videos are coming up with informative content for you. Uh, so keep watching uh, and I'll see you in the next one.